court reconvenes for case 113 CV uh, 516, Titus, uh, Titus Andronicus versus Tamora Chiron and Demetrius. Counsel, you may call your first witness. Plaintiff calls Aaron the Moor. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Sure. Be seated. Can you please state your full name and spell your last name for the court? It's Aaron the Moor. T H E. M-O-O-R. What is your current occupation? I serve the Queen Tamora and her sons. Are you aware of the claims against them? It's kind of hard to miss. There's conspiracy, wrongful death of the Andronicus boys, false imprisonment, assault and battery of Tits Androgynous, uh, Levine, Child L.A. Okay. Where were you on August 3rd, 564? I was in the castle, in bed with the Queen. And after a while, I went into the forest with their sons, Chiron and Demetrius. And then I came back to the castle. Did you see anyone else in the woods? No shit, there was a hunt. I saw pretty much everybody. And whom or what did you hunt? Objection, Your Honor. Irrelevant and extremely prejudicial. Seems innocent to me. May we approach the bench? Approach. is clearly aiming at the popular rumor that Aaron killed the Emperor's brother, hid his body, and then forged a letter implicating Mutius and Quintus Adronicus. That information is irrelevant and will only prejudice this jury against Aaron. Well, for one thing, Aaron started the rumor in his own deposition. And for another thing, under Federal Rule of Evidence number 608A... Ah, murder has nothing to do with the character for truthfulness. But forgery is a matter of deception, which is untruthful. But it makes no sense to ask about the forgery of a letter plotting murder without any evidence of the murder. So the murder is therefore relevant. Your Honor, under Rule 403, that's just going to confuse this jury. Go ahead and ask counsel, but remember, you can't prove it with extrinsic evidence. If he says he didn't do anything, you have to live with that. Understood. Aaron, during the hunt, did you kill anything or anyone? Yeah, I did. Chiron and Demetrius wanted to rape the child L.A., but she was betrothed to Bassanio, and he would never leave her alone for so long. So I lured him away, killed him, forged a letter implicating Mutius and Quintus, and then I hid his body. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor! Hearsay! About Chiron and Demetrius' alleged desires? And I repeat my objection from earlier, that information will only prejudice this jury against Aaron. Furthermore, this jury will only use that it will not only use that information for his character for truthfulness. Well, for one thing, it's not hearsay, because it's only said to explain Aaron's own actions in context. And anyway, even if it were hearsay, it was a party opponent admission. And I will stipulate to a jury instruction that they only consider this information inasmuch as it sheds light on his character for truthfulness. I'll allow the hearsay. And the jury is instructed to only use the witness's admissions of murder and forgery in so much as they shed light on his truthfulness. Okay. This looks like a job for the reasonable person. Now I'll just sprinkle you with some of my magic reasonability dust. And now, Your Honor, we will of course follow this jury instruction, disregard evidence of murder, and only accept more evidence of forgery in as much as it shows that he might not be truthful with us. Perfect. <laughs> Counsel? Aaron, do Chiron and Demetrius have any sort of reputation when it comes to acts of sexual violence? Yeah, I hear they're pretty good. <laughs> so they've done it before? Objection, Your Honor! That does not make it more or less likely that they would have done it this time. <laughs> well, on its own, perhaps not. But I submit their past acts on conditional relevancy, and will show it as, as far as planning and execution are concerned, the past acts shed a light on a pattern of conduct. Go ahead. Aaron, in the previous sexual assault, what were the <coughs> distinctive features? Well, it was in the woods. 
The boys were horny and the girl was pretty. They cut her tongue out so she couldn't talk. But she still, she wrote down what happened and they still got caught. How was this time different? This time, I told them to cut her hands off as well. No communication whatsoever. Your Honor, objection! That only goes to propensity. There is no evidence that they had followed Aaron's instructions or had any reason to follow his instructions. No, the information about the similarities goes to more, to more to modus operandi, and the reasonable person understands the difference. <laughs> you are only to consider the information about the defendant's prior sexual assault in as much as evidence of a manner of planning or a way that the defendants have been known to previously commit a sexual assault. You are not to use the information to justify a belief that the defendants have a propensity to commit sexual assault. <laughs> Got that? <laughs> Your Honor, we the jury of course understand that this evidence was in no way intended to lead us to believe that the defendant has a propensity to rape young girls. Instead, we know that this evidence was only to show us that they may have engaged in similar planning and strategy. Perfect. <laughs> Counsel? No further questions, Your Honor. Your witness. Aaron, you just testified that you killed Bassanio. Have you been prosecuted for this? Yes, but the jury let me off on that, just like they should for this one. Your Honor, I move to strike that comment. The jury will disregard the witness's uh, comment about the desirability of your deliberations. <laughs> testified that you forged a letter implicating Mutius and Quintus Andronicus. Why did you do that? Objection. Scope. Overruled. You opened the door. Proceed, counsel. Well, the Queen Tamora told me to, and we both knew that the Emperor Saturninus would order their execution. Now, do Mutius and Quintus have a reputation for violence? Objection. Relevance. Your Honor, in the instance, in the in, in defense, it's relevant that a discussion of ulterior motive happens. I'll allow it. Answer the question. Well, they, they murdered their tomorrow's eldest son on their father's orders. Objection. They had it coming. Objection, Your Honor. Military violence is irrelevant. On the contrary. The murder of the emperor's wife's son is relevant. The jury will disregard the statement that Mutius and Quintus had it coming, but may consider the statement that they slaughtered Tamora's eldest son. It's not working. <laughs> of reasonable people, and a reasonable person knows exactly what to do with that information. <laughs> now, we're going to take a brief recess so the witness can be get back to his uh, prior work commitment, uh, and this case will reconvene after the evening news. <laughs> <laughs>